the brand new season of Fortnite Chapter 5 saw the addition of four entirely brand new bosses to the island, as well as a bunch of brand new mythic weapons. My personal favorite being Zeus's Thunderbolt, one boss on the island known as Hades. Whenever you fight him, he actually uses a mythic item that wasn't yet in the game. But finally today, Epic Games decided to release it. But first, if you don't hit the thumbs up button on this video, in exactly 111 days, whenever you log on to Fortnite, this will happen. No! But if you do with the thumbs up button, in exactly 111 days when you log on to Fortnite, this will be waiting for you. The choice is all yours, so choose carefully. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've wasted too much time. We got a bunch of awesome stuff to cover in this video, including a brand new mythic weapon. Let's get into it. Super quickly, before we get to the brand new mythic added today, first things first, with the introduction of every single new season, we always see a bunch of awesome glitches added. For example, I'm sure you all noticed a few days ago, Epic Games disabled the ability for people to hide inside of trash cans. The reason for this is there was actually a super, super crazy glitch involving the trash cans and the brand new wings item. It would grant you the ability to fly all the way up to max height instantly, or even in the first season of Chapter 5, where there was a super broken invisibility glitch that really got underneath Epic Games' skin. Well, now there's another brand new glitch that is super super awesome and you have to try it before epic games patches it pulling this glitch off literally couldn't be any easier and it goes like this as soon as you jump out of the battle bus you're gonna want to make your way to this little location that has a windmill once you get here you're gonna need to spend a little bit of time looting and opening up some different chests we're looking for one specific item actually being the brand new wings of icarus now that took a while but finally we found one now we just need to make our way back to the original windmill location with the wings on our back once you're here, you're going to want to stand directly underneath the windmill. All you need to do then is activate the wings and start flying in the air. This will cause the windmill to hit you. Then you'll literally begin floating around the island like a literal god. This is super unique because it basically gives you the infinite flying ability. It is absolutely insane. I'm sure whenever an enemy sees you floating like this, they're absolutely going to lose their minds. Coolest part about this is the wings flying animation doesn't even activate. So it literally just looks like you're hovering through the air. There's no way Epic Games leaves this glitch enabled for all that much longer. I would highly recommend you try it out right now before Epic Games patches it and removes it for good. And don't worry, coming up next, we'll check out the new mythic. But first, if you thought the glitch I just showed you was an absolutely incredible way of getting around the island, wait until you see this very next glitch. The way this one works is actually pretty interesting. Obviously, as we all know here in Chapter 5 Season 2, we received an entirely brand new biome known as the Underworld. This consists of two different main locations, one being Grim Gate, where you're able to find the Cerberus boss, and the other one obviously being the underworld that has Hades. Connecting both of these point of interest, you're actually able to find this mysterious green river known as the River of Souls. And as we all know, whenever you enter this river, it'll grant you this super useful dashing ability. However, the downside is you're only able to use it three times until the ability goes away. Not if you do this glitch, ladies and gentlemen. It is a little more difficult than the last one we covered, but it's still really easy. As soon as you jump out of the battle bus, you're gonna wanna immediately make your way over to the Grim Gate location. Once you're here, spend some time collecting some loot and different weapons and shields, then you're going to want to go up and challenge the Cerberus boss. After that, take some time and eliminate all of Cerberus's wolves, then the Cerberus boss will spawn. All you're going to want to do is eliminate him as quick as possible. Oh my goodness, dude, there's literally a bunch of other real enemies here as well. Oh, and I just lost all of my shield. I'm literally almost dead. Thankfully, so is Cerberus. He only has like a quarter of his health left. Let's eliminate this dude right here. Oh my goodness, bro. This is so hectic. This is so hectic. He's almost dead. Come on, baby. This is it. Let's go. Yes, we got him. Once you're done with that, he'll obviously drop his mythic weapon. However, that's not what we care about. We actually care about his medallion, known as the aspect of agility. This is incredibly important, and you're going to want to pick it up. This will immediately grant you the exact same dashing ability you get from entering the river. There's a super easy glitch that makes his dash fully unlimited. All you need to do is use all three dashes that the medallion comes with, and then immediately remove it from your inventory. After that, pick up the medallion once again, and you'll be able to infinitely dash. It's slightly annoying because you do need to drop the medallion from your inventory every single time you want to dash, which does leave you a little bit vulnerable. But honestly, I think it's a pretty good trade-off to be able to move around the map at essentially three times the speed. Just like the last glitch, I don't think there's any way Epic Games will leave this in the game all that long. So definitely hurry up and try it out before Epic Games gets rid of it for good. But now, ladies and gentlemen, it's finally time to check out the new Mythic. Obviously, as we all know, the first day Chapter 5 Season 2 released saw a total of five 
five brand new mythics added into the game. One of them being Ares Warforged Assault Rifle. We also had the Thunderbolt of Zeus, Zeus's Huntress DMR, Hades Har being her SMG, as well as Cerberus's Gatekeeper Shotgun. However, a lot of people noticed in the Chapter 5 Season 2 trailer are actually able to see Hades using a totally different mythic known as the Chains of Hades. Now, we didn't just see him use this in the trailer, but the actual boss himself uses it whenever you go up and fight him. However, unfortunately, when you eliminate him, the Chains of Hades are literally nowhere to be found. They were in the game for a few hours right when the new season released inside a Team Rumble before Epic Games realized this and quickly disabled it. But now they're finally here, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, we're currently dropping into a game and making our way to the Underworld location, where, as we all know, the Hades boss is located. I don't know about you, but I do think Hades is one of the more difficult bosses to eliminate this season, all because of the mythic chains of Hades that he uses to both attack you and even pull you closer. You're gonna need to give me a second as I collect as much loot as possible in order to prepare ourselves to fight the evil lord of the underworld. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that's enough loot to get the job done. And it's officially time for the hard part. We'll go ahead and officially challenge Hades himself. First things first, we're gonna need to eliminate Hades' evil henchmen, which shouldn't be all that difficult at all. Come on, baby, hold still for me. There we go. Got him. One more. Yes, but now it's time for the super hard part, ladies and gentlemen, actually fighting Hades himself. Oh, dear. Spawn more henchmen, too. This is not good at all. Let's light him up. What do you say, boys? Hold still, hold still, hold still. Ah, took a little bit of my shield, but we're still doing good. Let's light him up again. Oh, dear. He's got the chains of Hades. Run. Look how weak he is. He's so weak. Yes, we eliminated Hades finally, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, Hades still drops his mythic medallion, known as the Aspect of Siphon. You want to pick that up. And on top of that, he still drops his mythic SMG, known as Hades Harbinger. Now, the chain of Hades itself actually has a massive hidden secret. Because check this out, we all thought it was going to be a mythic item, but in reality, it's not. Instead, it's an epic item, just like the Wings of Icarus that was just added to the game with this season. And you can see some gameplay of exactly what this item is going to look like on your screen right now. Not only only is it incredibly powerful and lethal to any enemies you come across, but it also has two different secret abilities. One of them is obviously the attack ability. The other is the ability to literally grab enemies and pull them closer to you. What's so interesting about this item is obviously it's already in the game because you're actually able to see Hades use it whenever you fight against him. On top of that, we also saw Hades using his chains in the Chapter 5 Season 2 trailer, but up until today, you weren't actually able to get them when you eliminated it. Like I mentioned, the only reason we have any idea about how this weapon is going to function is because Epic Games accidentally enabled it the first day of the season inside of the Team Rumble game mode for just a few short hours. We do know this item will be in the game very, very shortly and will even be released into the loot pool before Midas ever makes his return. Speaking of Hades, I really want to give his Mythic SMG a go and we got the perfect opportunity right here, lads. Oh, buddy. Got him! Now, this gun absolutely melts. More importantly, we even gained like 50 shield from that elimination thanks to his medallion that gives you the power of siphon. Oh, we got some more enemies fighting right up here. Let's see if this SMG is any good at long range. Wow. He literally just stole my kill. No worries. Let's see on this dude. Okay. All right. Okay, it's actually pretty good at long range. Oh, let's find out again. Bro, this thing is nuts. We're just getting started, ladies and gentlemen. I see an enemy right here. Ready? Dive bomb. How did I miss that? No worries. Let's light him up. Got him. This dude. Oh, buddy. I'm coming for you, lad. I'm coming for you. What? My aim is so bad with the wings, bro. It's like the worst aim of anybody ever. Oh, dear. Come on, buddy. Yes. Thanks for playing, goose. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Can we get him? We might be able to. Yes. Right here, ladies and gentlemen. You ready? Dive bomb. No. No. All right. I think I figured out how to use that mythic now. Thanks for playing, buddy. Oh, one of the final enemies right here. Swimming in the river of souls. Yes. Oh, and the, some of the final enemies are fighting right here below me, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what time it is. Dive bomb. Boom. Still another one right here, though. Nope. Got him. And the last enemy is right here in front of me, boys. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, buddy. Yes, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a huge victory royale. As soon as the Chains of Hades are officially here inside of Fortnite, I'm going to make sure to let every single one of you guys know by making a tweet over my Twitter account, at HomeAtGamesYT. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have an absolutely incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.